We're using artificial fake corn today as our bait of choice and we're catching some nice sized carp. Stay tuned. What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. I'm here at a brand new spot as you can see behind me here and uh, we're gonna be doing a carp episode for you guys today. This is my first carp outing since I've been back from my deployment from New York City so I'm excited to be doing this again. We're gonna be doing a, a little short video today using artificial corn and we're just gonna do a little little video on comparing sinking corn versus pop-up corn both artificial corn so stay tuned all right guys just uh i'm gonna cast all the rods pretty much back to back to back so i'm gonna rig them all up first before casting them out but for my first rod here rod number one we're using my go-to go-to bait it's a uh, juicy pear tiger nut for linear bait uh using a uh, pop-up corn from enterprise tackle uh, all the artificial corn I get is from Enterprise Tackle, so I suggest you check them out. Very good. I've caught a lot of big fish using their products. So we're going to use the pop-up corn on the first rod. Just using the regular hair rig. Uh, I'm using a bolt rig style, essentially with a, uh, a two-ounce method feeder down to my uh, hair rig here. All right, guys, my second rod's going to have a double stack or two pieces of uh, sinking corn also from Enterprise Tackle, very similar to the buoyant corn or the pop-up corn. The only difference is that this sinks in the water where the uh, pop-up corn kind of slight, it's buoyant, so it slightly sits up off the bottom. So a little bit of a different presentation, even though they look exactly the same. I'm just using two pieces here of uh, fake corn. Last, uh, last one's going to have a uh, juicy pear. Uh, one single piece of uh, juicy bear Juicy pear corn for linear bait uh, with the sinking corn on top essentially, not popped up. We're just using a real corn on here with the fake sinking corn, double stack there. All right guys, you've, you've seen this before. This is the method feeder with the pack bait. Rod number one with the pop-up corn and the tiger nut. All right guys, all the rods are out. Seems like a pretty good spot. Uh, it is very, very hot. So um, given that shallow, they, there might be some in here. So we'll see. Uh, really no current here. Water's pretty still. Pretty good spot. I feel pretty optimistic about that we should get one. I don't think there's giants in here, uh, especially this time of the year. Probably a lot of juvenile small carp. Given that I haven't caught one in a while, I'll take anything right now. So just for fun, it's gonna be a short video. Let's see if we can get some carp on this uh, pop-up corn and sinking corn. Stay tuned.
Look at this one, tiny little guy, maybe six pounds. Beautiful fish. This one fell victim to the, uh, ooh, this was to the uh, sinking corn on top with a juicy pear of corn on bottom. So, on the uh, blowback rig, let's release this one. All right, guys, let's get this one back in the water. Man, this water is super duper warm. It's gonna go underneath that branch. And there he goes. We are on again. This is a carp. This is our, we had, as soon as we released that first fish, we start getting a run on this one. He's on there. This one does feel bigger. I knew this would be a good spot. Wasn't, not expecting giants today, really just to catch some carp, but finding this place on Google Maps was, was like, oh, we did gotta try this spot. This one has a little bit of sh more shoulders to them. Just super shallow through here, maybe like four feet. Maybe five, but pretty shallow overall. So you're going to find a lot of smaller carp in the summertime in areas like this. This carp wants to go towards the other line. Ooh, darker fish. He's a darker one. Maybe around the same size. All right, look at that one. Darker fish. This fish has a tan. He's probably been feeding off the top a little bit. Oh, he doesn't like that net. He, he almost spit that hook out. He does not like my net. Got him. This is our second fish. This was on the double stack of sinking corn. Pretty much right after our first one. Sorry, I switched hats. <laughs> the other one was just getting really sweaty. Ooh. Here we are. Now they're a six pounder carp, very small. Beautiful fish though. Let's release this one. These carp are just a little slow going off today. Be just fine. Back into the, the shallow depths.
Sharp on. All right, guys, third carp. This was to the pop-up corn. This is to the uh, juicy pear tiger nut tipped with an Enterprise pop-up corn. Biggest of the day. He's feisty. Like I said, feisty. Here we are, look at this one. Probably, th this is maybe low teens. Maybe 10, maybe, it's definitely 10 pounds or 10, above 10 pounds. So, might be right at 10. I have, I don't, I have my scale, but we're not gonna weigh these fish today. We're just having fun. Beautiful fish. All right, guys, we're gonna release this one. Beautiful. Stay in there. <laughs> there he goes. All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna uh, pack up everything now and call it quits. Caught a total of three carp at this new spot. We were out for about uh, three hours, uh, so not bad for three-hour session catching three carp. And uh, it's been pretty quiet for the last hour, or so. So I'll be uh, packing up and getting ready to go home, but very nice spot. It's it's good to try new spots. And uh, this is 
my first outing I've had in a while for carp fishing. I took a, a little break and want to target some other fish I also like catching. So it's always good to get that first carp to the mat after taking a break. But um, as you can see, the artificial corn is very, it's pretty good, pretty effective. We caught a fish on every one of our setups here, but it's been quiet since. Give a thumbs up for this video. Please like and subscribe to this uh, to this channel. Uh, not only helps me, but it actually helps the USA carp community fishing catch and release. I appreciate you watching as always, and we'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care, guys.